Right Bank Tasting 2007. I'm currently in the vast plethora of wonderful wines from saint -Emilion. And uh, this particular example, Chateau Bar de O, is not perhaps one of the most well-known, but I always like to put this as one of the great shore values coming from this appellation. It's always consistent in terms of quality, in terms of style, but yet, of course, like all great wines, it shows a great, you know, variation according to the, to the vintages. This one right now is showing um, quite nice perfume on the nose. We do get a hint of minerality there and there's plenty of uh, wild berries in there, wild raspberry in there. Well, quite well integrated with a touch of everything we like in there. Hint of spices, hint of tobacco. Mm. Nice and juicy on the palate. And I really think, I'd say, I'd like to use the terms crunchy and juicy as something positive because we do have those, that hint of fresh berries in there with a nice level of freshness. It's a really ripe acidity, it's not hollow in any way. Finely integrated tannins, it's quite soft in terms of tannic structure and I'd still like to put this within a quite medium body frame. But a great purity of fruit and a really nice and coherent finish. A wine that we can enjoy already now and over the coming five, six, seven years. It will keep for longer, but I think that the, the optimum would be somewhere in this direction, at least for myself, because I like, I mean, I like that vibe of youthful fruit in a, in a good wine too. And um, as usual, when we do have um, this, this level of, uh, of structure and complexity in a wine, I prefer to enjoy it with something not too complicated in terms of food. So, I mean, we can talk about Entrecote Bordelais, we can talk about nicely grilled Cote de Vaux. So, Chateau Bardeau, 2007 from Saint-Emilion.